So now that we've completed the HTML section and we have our completed website, but we can only access it locally because when we open up our index.html, you can see that we're just opening a local file, right? In this case, this file's inside my users folder, inside my username, inside my desktop. But that means nobody else can actually access this website which makes it a bit pointless, right? The whole point of a website is so that we could put it onto the internet and everybody will be able to see our personal site or our CV. So how can we do this? Well, in order to do that, we need to host our website somewhere. Now, there's a whole bunch of hosting sites such as GoDaddy or Bluehost, but because we're learning at the moment, we don't want to have to pay for this. So there's also a free solution that I'm gonna show you. By the end of this lesson, you're gonna have your personal CV up on the internet, proudly displayed somewhere, and you'll be able to share a URL or a link to it so that anybody across the web can be able to access it. But first things first, we'll need to do a little bit of setup. The service that we're gonna use is GitHub. And we're gonna talk about GitHub in a lot of detail a little bit later on. It's a really, really useful tool that is pretty much essential to a developer's workflow. But for now, we're only gonna use one of its features, which is hosting our website. So first and foremost, if you don't have a GitHub account, then you'll need to set up a new one. So I'm just gonna set one up while we're at it. And now it'll ask you to choose a plan. Now we're gonna choose the free plan. And then we're gonna click continue. Now I'm gonna skip this questionnaire and just click on skip this step. Now, once you have signed up to GitHub, it's really important that you go ahead and verify your email address. Um, so check your emails and see if you have something from GitHub and then click on that verify link. And once you've done that, you'll be able to add new repositories to GitHub. If you head over to the upper right corner and just click on the plus button, and then we're gonna create a new repository. Now this repository, I'm just gonna call it CV, and this is going to be the name of my project. And all that a repository is, it's simply just a folder out there on the cloud that's going to store all of your project related files. And you'll be able to make changes to the files and update the files, and you'll be able to track all of those changes that you've made in the past. So now that we've given our repository a name, then we're gonna leave the description as empty and then we're going to keep public selected if you are on the free tier of GitHub. And then down here, make sure that you check this box where we initialize this repository with a readme. And it's really, really important that you do this for the next few steps to work. So now that we've done all of that, we're gonna go ahead and click on create repository. And this will take just a moment and now you should see a page that looks like this which means that your repository has been created and the only file that's in your repository is just a readme file so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and upload our files for our cv website so now if you bring up the folder which contains your cv website so the place where you see your index.html, your images folder, and any other pages you have, you're gonna select all of these and you're going to drag it into this box here. And that will upload and add all of them to our online repository. Once that's done, we're going to give this particular version a name. So we'll say that in this version, we added uh, initial CV website files. And then make sure that this part where it says commit directly to the master branch is checked and then go ahead and click to commit these changes. And that will upload all of those files that we dragged on and we are now ready to set up our GitHub page. If you head over to the settings tab here and if you scroll down on the settings page, you will see that there is a section called GitHub pages. And GitHub Pages is designed to host your personal organization or project pages from a GitHub repository. So we already have the repository. We now have to activate our pages. So it's currently disabled. All we have to do to enable it, we just have to select a source where our files reside. 
So if you click on this part where it says none, you should change it to where it says master branch and go ahead and click save. So now GitHub is going to do some behind the scenes stuff and it's going to be publishing towards a place which is going to be your username dot github dot io forward slash your project name. So that will be your CV. And you can see this is a HTTPS website. So you'll be able to access this site from anywhere across the world as long as you're connected to the internet. Now this publishing process takes a little while. So if you refresh this page, you'll see that it says your site is published at this address. And if you click on that address, you should be able to see your website show up. Now, if at this point, what you see instead is a 404, then that just means that you have to be a little bit more patient. Um, the GitHub servers are probably working over time and come back in maybe half an hour and check that link again. But once you are done though, then your website should work exactly as it did locally. But now you can go ahead and share this link with anybody you like across the world and they can access it because it's now hosted on the internet. So you can go ahead and go over to angelbauer.github.io forward slash CV and you too will be able to see this website that I just uploaded and I'm looking at right now. So now it's time for you to go through this process and upload your CV and your website onto the World Wide Web and be sure to share a link to your project in the Q&A of this lesson so that we can all admire your hard work and what you have created. So that's all from me for this lesson. I'll see you on the next.